Yo. Yo. They make it easy. That's for sure. We appreciate the hell out of it, Dave. Thank you. Where did yeah. Yale go? So we need access to your every fucking move on the internet. <laughs> <All right. laughs> for you real. Your friends. Um, yeah. Dude, are you on you're on a throne right now, bro? Yeah. <laughs> We're live right now. Slayer! That's right. cool, man. Yeah. It's Game of Thrones up there. Yeah. It looks like it looks like the Slayer background. Carrie <laughs> K- 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 King is jealous. <laughs> sent late. I sent Yayo a link. He did uh yeah, it- you can just follow the same link. That's what I did. I just followed the same yeah, link. Yeah, just he'll he'll get back on. Yeah. What's up? What's up, Matthew? How's it going? What's up, Jeremy? How's it oh, going? Pretty good. Jeremy. He, people coming in. Logging in, buddy. People coming people in. People are logging in, Maddie. Oh, people come in. I can't see. Okay. I was like, I'm Matthew. Yeah. Hey, hey. I'm doing swell. That would be probably Matthew Fallon. Yeah. I probably would be, hey. wouldn't it? Yeah. Fat hey, Mallon. We appreciate you guys joining us for today's uh, live stream. We are joined by members of Malcontent. We have Heath. We have Maddie. We have Anthony. We had Yayo, but Yayo unfortunately left us. And we have Dave Buckner. Gentlemen, how are you guys doing? Dude, I'm fucking with the filters, man. Check it out. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah, dude. All right. I'm good. Yeah. Here you go. What's up, fool? What's up, fool? <laughs> yeah. Woo, rock and roll. What is up? Like what is up, you guys? Dave, how you like it up there? Oh, man, it's cool. It's really chill up here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Literally. So... <laughs> Bet you was cold. Oh, oh, I, I, uh, I have moved to an undisclosed location. Yes. Undisclosed. Freezing they love cold. Ca- they love Californians out there, I hear. Yeah. Uh, what are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking moved to Canada and shit. Yeah. <laughs> What's that all about? <laughs> What's that all about, eh? It's all about, dude. <laughs> Let me right, send. Yale, Yale will come back soon, I'm sure. Yeah. Let me send them a note. I can do all kinds of shit. What's going on here? Look at. Background. Dude, you can make yourself a piece of pizza. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> oh hell yeah, dude. <laughs> How do you do that? Shit. <laughs> what the fuck? You click on your picture, I think, and you use a. <laughs> oh, flat. One of these fucking things. Does flat. that make you change your mind about Facebook? Yeah, right. No, no. <laughs> Not at all. Splitting this shit after we get off. <laughs> See? I can't handle that Ooh. strong acid. I'm doing an interview yeah, like this. <laughs> yeah, hell there you go. Me. That's yes, good, man. Please. <laughs> you look like an elf. <laughs> oh. Are we live? We're live right now, right? So everyone yeah. coming. Yeah, we're live yeah. right now. Great. Well, okay, okay. Right now. I'm yeah, like everybody. Like, <laughs> ten people in the chat right now. I got to get a background though. I can't have the garage background. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's there crazy. we go. Oh, there you go. That's there we go. Cool. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, stop playing. All right, man. Should we get down to business or? I mean, yeah. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. Let's, let's do, do it. I mean, I think I think the first thing that um, is on our immediate minds is that uh, uh, Vice documentary that recently came out. It was a story of oh, there's there's Yayo. So it was a story, obviously, oh, of, of, hey, what is up? Yeah, how's it going, brother? Hey. hey, hey. <laughs> what up, so bro? Um, we're talking right. about the Vice documentary on Last Resort, and it told the story of Papa Roach. And I just kind of wanted to get uh, everyone's first, in, first impressions of the documentary. I caught the documentary about uh, two days ago, and I enjoyed it immensely. There was, some, there was some good information in there, some stuff that I never knew. Uh, about the meaning of the song, so we'll we'll go ahead and ask Dave first. What was your uh, first impression after viewing that documentary, uh, Papa Roach and Last Resort? Oh man, you know I um I, I thought it turned out 
fantastic, man. I just, uh, you know, they had approached me a few months back to do this interview. And, um, you know, they said all, all I knew was that it was going to be for a vice piece on Last Resort. And I really didn't know what direction they were going to go as far as telling the story. And so, I, you know, I showed up. Um, uh, there was a location Kobe and I actually filmed the spot together. They didn't, they didn't put any of that in it. And then I went to another interview location, did my whole interview and whatnot. And, um, they just had, you know, a ton of questions asking us about the history of the band, asking me about the history of the band, the song, what I knew about the song, my, you know, feelings and whatnot. And, and, um, like I said, I really didn't know what direction they were going to go. Like, and they didn't let us know until literally it was the day it dropped. We found out with everyone else, like what that story was going to be like. And I just feel like they took it of all the ways they could have went with that story. Cause you know, last resort, like at this point in history, it's a meme right now. I mean, like it exists on so many different planes, you know, it's like the band's first hit, you know, and whatever, whatever, whatever. And, um, I just felt like the, the, you know, the story that they got, and, and they ran with, yeah, it couldn't have been any, any better. I think they, they really, I mean, and, and that thing about it, it being about our friend Mark, I mean, that's absolutely 100. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and, and it's real. I mean, like, like I think they say in the documentary, I mean, this shit really happened. You know, all we were doing was telling a story that we lived through or Jacoby mm -hmm. lived through, you know, through his lyrics. And um, I just think it, I think it turned out great. Yeah. I thought it was. I thought there was a lot of good information, but before I get into that, I want to ask the guys what what was your first impression of that documentary? Uh, we'll go ahead and start with Anthony. Uh, my first impression of that documentary was. Uh, I don't know if uh, Dave or the rest of the guys in Pop Roach uh, realized the impact that that song had on the local Solano County Vacaville music scene, as far as it gave a new vibe and a new energy to the the whole the local rock and roll community so i i'm i was like i've always been curious if you guys knew like the impact that that song had on other musicians in the town you know or in the area yeah, dude uh well i mean you know last resort was like one of the last songs that we had written before we got signed right so that was like we wrote that song when we got the demo deal for for uh, Warner Brothers, which they talk yeah. about in the documentary. So <laughs> really we had started off, I mean, if you remember the, the scene back in the day, right? So like mm -hmm. probably from, you know, tail end of 95, all the way up until, you know, we got signed and left town, you know what I mean? Cause like really like 99, like I was just talking with, uh, with Heath about this earlier today, right? Yeah. I was like, dude, cause you know, one of the questions was like, what was the, the, uh, the music scene like in 99 and 2000. And I was like, bro, like, I really don't know because we weren't there, right? I right, mean, like, right. After me, <laughs> right. I think we played one show in Vacaville in 99. And yeah, that and was then... our signing party, which I believe you guys opened. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> and I was gonna open that show. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and then other than that, we were like doing our whole thing, like touring all over the West Coast and whatnot. And then getting this, doing this whole thing rigmarole with the signing you know the demo deal and then going through that whole experience and then signing with dreamworks and then we were in the studio and then 2000 i mean like we we were never even home in 2000 like i never even saw back in the like but like maybe once or twice that that entire year i mean we were just we were gone you know what i mean like we were just we were out traveling the world you know that whole year so um but i can tell you that you know, from, from 90, 95 to 90, you know, early 99 or whatever, 98, that whole scene that we created, like as a group, as a, as a, as a community of local bands, you know what I mean? If yeah. you remember, it was like Pop Roach, it was, you know, uh, EMB, if you remember, and uh, like Fuji TV, it was, uh, there was a band called So Metallica that was from like the south side of town, there was Dirthead, there was, like Sony, if you remember even, um, dude, uh, uh, I can't think of their name right now, but uh, Execution dude, you remember style. Gasser? <laughs> Tijuana Gasser? Tijuana Gasser. Tijuana like, Gasser, wow. There were so many like, yep. cool local, just local punk bands and stuff. Like yep. happening. Monster Squad. Monster, Monster Squad. Squad, obviously, dude. I mean, it's crazy like how they ended up having a, a career, you know, of their own right. too. Like they came out of that whole scene too. And, um, 
I mean, it was definitely like like its own little its own little e ecosystem of music that was. I think it's something that we could be proud of. Like we built that, right? So, right. and well, we all did. You know, it wasn't just us. It wasn't just any particular band. It was all just of us. Everybody. Together. Yeah. All, right. all the kids. What, everybody. What, Watching that documentary just took me back to the days, like the excitement that was around for you guys, and it was just like that song that 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 just watching those videos and those video clips was just took me back. So yeah, it was I mean, pretty that, cool. That that song launched you guys, man. Like that. It did. That, yeah. That riff. That riff. Th that like riff. Talk about that, that riff. That riff. Like it's classical, you know. <laughs> and it just literally, yeah, literally. literally yeah. I went totally you know, on that piano. Hey, dude, can I just, I want to address something right now because I was reading the comment thread and I've heard this over the years where everyone's like, you ripped that song off of some Iron Maiden song, right? Which is, it's not true. Like, I have listened to the, okay, so like, there's like five different Iron Maiden songs that people claim we ripped that <laughs> riff off from. I'm like, okay, which one is it? Yeah. Which one? <laughs> yeah. Because I'm like, no, dude, like, Tobin was like sitting down at his piano and I came up, like, when he first approached me, it was like, Dave, like, listen to this thing. It's kind of like this Lauren Hill Fuji's thing, like this hip hop thing. You know what I mean? And and uh, you know, and then we took it and turned it into like this metal song. But it just makes me laugh that people think you know they know the story and they they don't. I mean, like, yeah, okay, like four notes out of some fucking Iron Maiden guitar solo, in, <laughs> which happens to appear in, like five or six different of their songs. Exactly. Sure. sure. All right. Fine. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. That is funny. It was pretty great. Uh, you know, for me watching that and, and seeing that video footage from, from Three Oaks and then, you know, just because I remember when we, when the curtain opened there, I mean, I think all of us would talk about it. It was like, all of a sudden there's like 800 sets of eyeballs blinking at us, man. And it was like, <laughs> holy crap, you know, it was pretty awesome. But you know, it, was, it was funny because when we got that call and they asked, you know, uh, uh, you, know you guys asked us to open, and uh, the the one uh, caveat was we had to go fly or Fairfield, so we're like, okay, cool. <laughs> so I remember me and Anthony, man, we were going out every single night, and we would fly her every pole oh, to Fairfield. Oh, like, every Fairfield. Night, every night we come back out, and and all the flyers around the high schools and stuff, they had all they had taken all the flyers down because all the kids were wanting to keep them as souvenirs. I mean, it was just crazy because kids were on fire. I mean, the the, the scene was just like it was ridiculous. The energy that it was coming off of the crowds at Three Oaks was unlike anything else i mean you had you had touring bands that wanted to come play the three oaks community center in vacaville california and i mean it just it was it was it was quite a time uh to be a musician back then but and you know even i remember i think it may have been the last show that they had at three oaks and we we played it and uh we got like two songs into our set and then this kid got laid out in the pit and you know he's laying there and i'm like okay stop everybody stop and i'm trying to get everybody to back up you know give him room because, I mean, he was laid out. Shut he up, he up, just up, started up, screaming. Up. And he goes, just pull me off to the side and keep playing. And I'm like, no, we can't do that. But that's, but that was the energy. That, like, that was, that's what the, you know, the, the crowd at Three Oaks, man, these, these kids were Heat, just man. on fire for music. It was amazing. It was great, man. And as we were, you know, we were talking earlier today on the phone, and we were talking about this all happened, like, before social media. I mean, like, flyering. <laughs> Like when you saw the flyer on the telephone pole, that was that was the tweet, bro. Like there yep. was no yep. there was no Twitter. Like they like there wasn't even MySpace yep. at that time yet. Like the internet was just barely even coming around. Like I think it was like AOL message boards oh, wow. or, or whatever, you know. But oh, AOL it wasn't, it wasn't like oh, how sure. it is today, you know. Like where it's like, you know, you put something up on your on your profile yeah. or on your page and it goes out. You know, it's on blast like for the whole oh, world. Like it just didn't exist back then you know like it, is, it was old school it was punk rock it was diy and that's where we came up from that's yeah. and, you, and heath and i were talking about this today uh the thing that we always took notice from you guys was the work ethic and when we first started out as a band is uh because there was no social media so you guys literally busted your ass and that was something that like we used to talk about that man like we we need to aspire to be like that like work hard like because yeah like your guys's work ethic was legendary back in the day in the music scene it, it was it was pretty pretty uh pretty inspiring yeah right on man thank you i mean and yeah we did i mean we 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 put the hustle in dude our hustle was strong 
And I, I, I really credit that to this day as like one of the main reasons why we even ever made it. I mean, yeah, we wrote some good songs, but there's a lot of bands that write great songs or who are amazing performers, but you know, you got to have everything firing on all cylinders and you've got to have hustle and drive. And, and that's the one thing that I knew we had, like we had mm -hmm. that on mm -hmm. spot, right? Yeah. So yeah. let's, yeah, I mean, I, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, you guys were radio play down in, down in LA before you'd even signed a deal, right? I mean, you guys were getting regular radio play down there. I um, remember. I don't no. Dude, I don't, that I don't remember. Maybe on some college radio, I think. And I know, like, they played us on KDBS a couple times and a couple times on local licks. But the crazy thing that happened before we got signed was um, they added Revenge in Japanese, it used to be called, before Infest. It was on an EP, and the song was called Revenge in Japanese. They added that to the road rule. They put it in an episode of Road Rules on MTV. Oh, and that, oh shit. I think it was our boy, Jay Ingram, who's who um, he owns a sense of... Uh, marketing promotions and stuff like that and um i believe he's the one either him or wade kyle who is who's also a local guy from the scene who ended up being our guitar tech later but it was wade and jay were definitely like they did a lot of work to like promote our band you know just like what and they, they were kind of like the online guys like we didn't know anything about like being online and shit like they would be all over you know whatever social media not social media but whatever it was back then um promoting our band and chatting with people and, and uh, networking and it was just it was a lot it was really a, a team effort a family effort and um yeah man that's how it got done <laughs> hell yeah newsletters man newsletters Excu you remember like mailing hey, execution list? style like, we sent out newsletters man yeah you, you got your address like, on the you know you sign up for a newsletter list? what's right. that <laughs> You go sign up on the mailing list, and then we'd send out yep. like cards with like, "This is what's happening with our band. These are the shows we're playing this next month." Yep. And I remember dude, you... licking a lot of stamps, dude. Like, <laughs> oh, for <laughs> sure. Like, dude, so many hours at Kinkos, dude, or behind my computer, like designing dude, like, Kinkos, and mailing Kinkos, lists. holy Kinkos. Right, man. Kinkos. Dude, I don't miss Kinkos. Kinkos. I don't miss it. But we did it. Shout out to Kinkos. You remember making homemade stickers at Kinko's? Yes. Oh yeah, dude. Execution style yeah. did that, man. I still got I still got a couple of them. Me and Alan made an old school flyer. We were at Kinko's literally for about seven hours copying and literally pasting <laughs> every single thing on this flyer. It was oh, probably yeah. the worst day of my life. <laughs> we left out of there at like four in the morning. <laughs> Thank God for twenty four hours. Right. Uh, dude, yeah. the Fairfield Kinko's, man. Yep. Yep. That one. Sorry, Carlos. Were you were you saying something, Carlos? Yeah, no. Um, I just wanted to take an opportunity to uh, thank everybody for joining us. I'm going to read some of the comments here. Jeremy Sosman says, "No kidding." Uh, postcards. Uh, Matthew Fallon says, "Old friends from young years." Best album from P. Roach. Uh, Jeremy says, "That's what <laughs> always impressed me about P. Roach: how hard they worked, posting flyers, grinding, playing all the shows. It was such a cool thing to see them finally make it." I remember hearing their song on Live 105. Wow. Yeah. And thinking, man, they Whoa. made it. Yeah. Uh, William, yeah. Potter, William Potter says, glad you're all good to go. Uh, oh. Susie, Susie, Charlton says, Susie Charlton says, I drove over the mountain to see you guys back in the day in a blizzard. You guys influenced Northern Nevada as well. Yeah. Uh, wow. People, people are giving... Oh, yeah. Shout out to the Tijuana Gassers and to Gooser. Gooser, Gooser that's Gooser. right. <laughs> they came a little after us, but I remember, I remember Gooser. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Jeremy says the Vice piece was really good. And thank you. <laughs> Ashley, Ashley is here, guys. Say what's up to Ashley. Ashley, what's up? Wants to know, what's up, Ashley? Where is Alan? Ashley? Alan, uh, his phone is. On the fritz, he couldn't make it tonight. He's like really old school. He he's, he's still got a flip phone. <laughs> yeah, he's got a rotary phone. He, <laughs> yeah. No she internet says, access. She says, "Thank you all for the benefit concert." Fuck cancer. Fuck, right. can, Fuck Ashley's cancer. Ashley's the girl that, that we threw the yeah. benefit. Show. That's what got us back together was the benefit <laughs> show for Ashley. Yep. Yep. So. Right on, man. And, and the last thing I want to the last comment is from Boo. He says, "What up, homies?" Yeah, what's up, what's Robert? Up, what's up, Boo? 
So hey, hey, should we, we play? Should, should we play this? Yeah, let's do that. No, well, uh, let's go ahead and and get into that. Um, Wait, which song? Your your song? The one you're on. The one you do. Help me sing backups. Let, hey, let's give a little backstory real quick. Let's talk. About oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. So let's get oh, into yeah. that. One. Um, I could start the back. I actually hit Dave up because we had played a show for Yeo, our other guitar player, for his birthday. And Dave commented on a picture I posted, hey, yo, where was my invite? So I started thinking about it. I was like, hey, we're going to the studio. Maybe Dave would be interested in coming by and uh, hanging out for a little bit, you know, dropping some pointers or something. So I messaged him. I was like, hey, man, uh, if you're interested in coming, we're going to be in the studio this day. And uh, we were in the studio. And Joe Johnson, shout out Puss Cavern, gets a call from Dave. And he's like rushing around the studio going, hey, somebody take this. Dave's on the phone. And so I had <laughs> like so Alan got on the phone and uh Alan was in his cool sexy voice was like, Yeah, man, come on down. Like, hey, yeah, yeah, it'd be cool, bro. Like and so it, next thing we knew, David came in and it was it was it was a cool experience for me. And yeah, it was cool because Matt was doing some backups. Well, yeah, that's the thing that what happened. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. You can skip the whole yeah, thing. Right. How it happened. Oh, sorry. Someone take the baton. Go. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. So we're doing the we're, we're going through the bridge of this song. Matt, Maddie was in mm -hmm. down some Thanks. of his. Go ahead, Heath. Never mind. Maddie was laying down some of his lustrous vocals, and then uh, Dave had an idea for it. So we're like, "Dude, go in." Yep. And show. Yeah. Right. You guys were do, do you guys were doing the bridge of the song, and Maddie yep. was in there doing his vocals, and I was like, "Dude, wouldn't like a harmony be sick?" And you're like, "Go in there and show it to him," and then. Yeah. Maddie and I were like, Maddie was like, dude, just fucking sing in the mic with me. It's cool. So, yeah, next that's thing you know, I'm singing on the song. And next thing you know, you guys are releasing it for a single. And I get to be a featured performer. Thank you so much. You didn't have to. You didn't have to. <laughs> no, my... man. Dude, it's all. Oh, it's our pleasure, dude. Yeah. Dude. You're fucking my boy, man. Shit. <laughs> no, man, it was. A... It's funny yeah. because so, some people hit me up on, on Instagram like, Oh man, I can't wait to hear you play drums again. I'm like, I didn't even play drums on the song. Like, I sang on it. Like, what? what are you uh, yeah, about? That, that's what that's what people should get confused. I actually played the drums on the song. Yeah, yeah. I think we did. not The only thing we didn't get recorded is your guys' rendition of "We Are the World." Oh no, I, I think. Uh, yeah, oh, you guys it. posted that. You he posted it. We did post yeah. it on. He, yeah, we posted it on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, that's true. That's Yale's true. got the video. Hey, Yale, yeah. we forgot that Yale was there. Yale. Tell us what the experience. The silent like. assassin. Tell tell us a little bit about your uh, experience with uh, the recording process, especially. Um, how how did you enjoy that? <laughs> man of Yale's a man of uh, eight words. <laughs> we love him though. <laughs> Fun in every band. Boom. Yeah. Every band. <laughs> And ours it was Frankie, his cousin. So I know where the, I know where he's going with. It. <laughs> oh, we know Frankie. Frankie's Frankie's the man. Yeah, yeah that's my boy too. Very yeah. cool, man. Hey, so do you guys want to play the song? I'm gonna have to jump here, guys. Like my time. All is right. Yeah. Time. Thanks, but, Dave. Uh, we want to say it to the song, and then uh, and I will I will say later to everyone who tuned in. Thank you hey, so thanks. much for having me, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hey, right Dave. On, Dave. Thank you for thank you for coming on with us today, Dave. Uh, really appreciate appreciated the uh, the documentary. Appreciated your time. Uh, Horns we'll up, brother. All right, one thousand gratitudes. I, do like I don't do that no more, bro. Oh, hang I'm, loose, bro. I'm down with that. Mahala. It's like this, like now. Mahala. Yep. There you go. Hey, like you always say, you. one th one thousand gratitudes, Dave. Thank you. That's right. Yeah, yes. Thank you. That's right. So, thanks. Thank you. It was good meeting, man. All right. Appreciate you, Dave. All right, you guys, we're gonna Peace. Peace. we're gonna we're gonna get into a digital soapbox here. Um, we want to see how the quality is, but um, you guys just let us know. And here it is, without uh, further ado. <laughs>
Hey, look at Yale. <laughs> Come on. What's up? <laughs> Rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll. <laughs> Hi, Yale. Hi, Yale. Yale. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, wow, that was pretty cool talking to Dave. Um, you guys seem to to really have a good sound there, and uh, you know, I know he contributed to it, but not content. Mm -hmm. it, it seems that you guys are back, man. Uh. It feels oh, like it. <laughs> yeah, it felt good. This that, felt... that the song really kind of the thing I think that that we kind of liked the most about it, and the reason that uh, I think we kind of decided on it to be the first single was just the fact that it, it still had that that old school malcontent feel, um, but just uh, you know being a little bit more mature, a little more. Um, you could just, you could just tell uh, that we've grown uh, in our in our yeah. craft. Yep, for sure. No, I see. Um, a, fun, a funny story about that song, though, is uh, the original, the intro riff to that song. I almost threw it, I almost threw that riff away. Um, that was the first riff I had brought into practice and was like, hey, this is kind of a cool riff. And we jammed on it and nobody really said anything. So I was kind of like, oh, nobody likes it. So I forgot about it. And then Yale came to me one day and was like, Hey, what happened to that riff that you you uh, we started jamming when we first got back together? And I was like, oh, I got rid of it. He's like, why? And I was like, because nobody liked it. And he's like, we loved it. We just didn't know what to do with it. So right after, his, I brought it. I, I I went through my phone, and it was the last recording on my phone that I hadn't deleted. You know, like so. It was, uh, and we we went from there. We as soon as he said that, I just we started working on it from there. So. Right on. So let me read some of these comments we got here. 
Uh, K. Tyler says, what up, Dreezy? Uh, KP. Chris, Chris Drew. Drew says, what up, homies? Oh, shit. What What's up, Chris What's Drew? Up, Chris? Hey, man. Chris Drew. Jeremy, yeah. Jeremy Sossaman says, great job, fellas. Thank nice. you. Right Thank, on. You Thank you. Boo Batanga says, uh, well, he's giving three devil horns, guys. You guys. Oh, shit. There you go. Three horns Ash up. Ashley says that was dope. Thank you, Ashley. Right on. Love you, Ashley. Matt Glad you recovered, Ashley. <laughs> Matthew Fallon says, Maddie looks like planet of Uranus. <laughs> uh, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Matt Fallon wins Comment of the Night Award. Uh, <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> Dale, uh, Dale Newland says, that scream, though. That Hell scream, yeah. though. <laughs> Good job, Heath. Thank right you, off. Dale. <laughs> so, hey, yeah. if, you guys, if you guys are out there enjoying this, make sure that you uh, give it a like and make sure to give it a share so that other people can look at it. And by the way, do you guys know that Malcontent has a YouTube page? Make sure that you guys subscribe to that. They're almost at 100 subscribers. And once they do, <laughs> things are going to go all the way downhill from there. You know it, guys. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, the four of us want to give a uh, huge shout out to Carlos for uh, doing this for us. This is uh, – man, you, 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 you put in a lot of work for us, and uh, we couldn't be – we love it and we appreciate it more than you you know. So. Yeah. Well, hey, I've like I said, man, I'm enjoying this so far. Um, you guys are my brothers, and it's it's been really fun. It's been really fun. But let's talk about let's talk about what is in store for Malcontent in 2021. You guys have tons of music that you've recorded at the Puss Cavern. Shout out to Joe, like we gave a, uh, earlier. Um, what is the plan for releasing these songs tell me about that uh so we're the, the idea you know when we started recording these things you know we we kind of were tossing around different ideas as far as you know how to release them you know whether it be a, a you know a lp or an ep or but you know we just really felt like um maybe singles was the way to go uh, these, this day and age, I mean, it's funny because I, I, I'm not necessarily a fan because I am an av I love albums, but people just, you know, people just don't listen to albums like they used to. And I just felt like um, it'd be better for us to release music, you know, maybe on a monthly basis rather than, you know, maybe once a year, you know. And then I also just felt like because each song really can have a um, have its own meaning and, and it be its own story. So I feel like it's kind of cool to be able to to isolate each and every song and um you know release it as a as its own release so yeah you you can look forward to seeing um a new single dropped uh the first friday uh, of every month so the next single will drop on uh i think it's february 5th um and then uh yeah it, it, i just i think you guys are gonna dig it it's it, every song kind of has its own sound which is pretty cool mm -hmm. yeah for sure there yeah is. not not one song sounds the the same uh it, it's been a yeah sorry <laughs> that background man you're like the flying the flying nun over there man <laughs> all right i'm in the woods now man. there you go all right <laughs> fucking <laughs> tree hugger over here you can ask the question is there shit in the woods <laughs> I just... oh dude don't even all right <laughs> This dude, this background really accentuates my gray beard. It's terrible. <laughs> like Mountain Gris man, Gris Grizzly Adams over there. Yeah. <laughs> He's a wizard. So how, how many songs? How many songs are in the bag right now? And what is the name of the next song going to be that you guys release? So, Maddie and Yeo don't know this yet, but uh, we, we couldn't get. Uh, the song that we wanted to release second second so we're going with the next song is going to be waging war it's um it's a song that deals with the mental health issues um i think so, it's something that we're all kind of going through right now with the world we live in and so it's a uh, it's a 
pretty deep song and it's got a but it's got a good message to it and I can't wait for people to hear that song too. That's a it's a good song. Yes. <laughs> heavy. They are pretty good songs. It's, it's heavy. pretty heavy. <laughs> it's heavy. Heavy. And you'll notice the influence when you hear it. So Yeah. And we hope everyone enjoys it because we, we worked hard on it. So but yeah. there's there but there's different influences to different many we were originally yeah. gonna call this song uh influences because it kind of spans like uh our history or or our, not our history but um all of our uh influences um throughout our history as mus or uh, what we like to listen to and um so yeah we were originally gonna call it influences but after Heath writing the lyrics we decided to change. Mm -hmm call it waging war mm -hmm. and what what is it what is it his what has it been like i know like you guys haven't been able to play shows uh you know covid is is messing everything up for for musicians everywhere not just for the economy because the economy gets a lot of attention but just for musicians and and playing live shows and and artists everywhere i mean aside from all of that covid stuff i mean are you guys enjoying being a band together uh, again uh, d definitely there's basically what else are we gonna do <laughs> right now <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know but we're, we're 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 taking this time to uh write songs because i guarantee you if covid didn't happen i didn't no one wanted covid to happen by the way right mm -hmm. right so but if it never happened who knows we probably would have only written a couple songs you know and, that's, and we're sure. working on song number seven right now yeah so you know like to be honest with you, like for us, I think creatively COVID, <laughs> as stupid as it may sound, COVID has been the best thing for us because it slowed us down and it's made us just all we had time to do is write. So yep. we sit there and we are picky as hell on what we're writing right now. Like, um, and it, like the songs kind of tell that story if you listen to them, because like Digital Soapbox was one of the first songs. And it's a good it's it's a good song, it's, but as the songs go on, they get more creative, and our, we're trying to kind of show our musicianship a little bit more on some of these uh, next songs that are going to be coming out. And it, it, it's pretty exciting. We, we've like we're, we've touched on stuff we've never done before. And I can tell you guys that I was in the studio with these guys, and I was listening to one of the riffs that Yayo made, and it is <laughs> yes, pretty beautiful riffs that. You know, you wouldn't expect that from Malcontent. And so, I, you know, I commented to Anthony, hey, you know, who, who wrote that? And he was like, yeah, that was Yayo, man. That, that was Yayo and, 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 and Alan and, and Maddie who were jamming on that riff. And uh, they made this, this riff. And they were, I was just like, oh, you know, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's hear that. I want to hear it. Let's make a song out of that. And so, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he, he's added his influence to, to yeah. Malcontent, Malcontent sound, you know. Uh, did Yeo's one hundred. Yeah, the Go addition ahead, of Yeo. Yeah, sorry. the The addition of Yeo, man, like totally, one hundred for ten percent. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it just it it. The influence of Yeo there. I mean, the two guitars now. I mean, it, the sound is just way, way, way. You you can explain, it, Anthony, probably better than I can, since you're the other guitar player, so you know. Well, Yeo just yeah. adds a different dynamic because, we, like, there's yeah. there's just so much more we, we hear with him. And uh, we can be like, Yeo, like, try this over the top. Like, or he, he's just expanded our horizon. And it, it's just, it, it's it, he's actually brought it, it's brought us out as musicians more, too. And uh, it, the, he deserves a lot of credit. Same with Alan, too, because uh, Alan's written a lot of, on our new stuff and yeah. mm -hmm. Alan's got a great musical mind. He's got a great musical mind and he, he's pushed us and, but we've also been pushing each other. So, uh, it, this is the most fun I've ever personally have ever had writing music mm -hmm. ever in my life. Well, uh, Heath, any, any thoughts on the, on the, on the music that you guys are creating? What are your thoughts about it? Yeah, I feel like uh, I definitely feel like that we have, um, you know, further than we ever have. I think that we, you know, in in the old days we were so busy, um, 
you know, you know, with shows and, and whatnot. Um, I mean, I think we talk about one summer where we packed up the van and we didn't, we didn't unpack it till the end of the summer. I mean, it just, we just were so busy, um, you know, just out, you know, playing as many shows as possible that we didn't give ourselves a chance to write um, the way that we are now. I mean, I think, uh, you know, Anthony alluded to it, you know, the, the fact that we're, you know, we're, we're just taking our time and, and, you know, the song's not finished till it's finished. Uh, in the old, in the old days, it would kind of, it would almost be like, well, that'll work. And, and now it's, you know, we, we're not happy with that. Um, you know, we're, we're not satisfied just as malcontent would, would, uh, imply mm -hmm. that, you know, we're not satisfied. We want to make sure that we're writing the best music we possibly can, especially now. I mean, it's like, you know, we've been doing this forever, uh, since 90, <laughs> mid nineties, you know what I mean? And, and it's just, you know, I think we are, we're, we're at a point where we're going to just, we want to put everything we have into it. We're not going to, we're not going to just settle. Yeah. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping you guys hear that in the songs. Cause I honestly, like when I listen to them and you know, obviously I'm partial, but when I listen to them, I'm thinking, you know, in my heart of hearts, I know that this is just the best music that we've written. I mean, we're just, we've totally poured our hearts out and our souls into these songs. Well, the other thing about the sound is that you guys were, were, you know, quote unquote, younger, younger men back then. And, you know, there was songs, <laughs> were songs like uh, My History and uh, one of my favorites is Alone. Um, you know, they're very different than what you guys are writing about now. I mean, now it's, there, it's, it's more, um, it's timely. And it's not so, um, for lack of a better word, not as pissed off, but it still has <laughs> an edge. Um, yeah. So I noticed that, I noticed that as well. Yeah, I think lyrically, I mean, it was, uh, you know, it, back in the day, yeah, my, my, my mind frame and, and where I was at back in the day was obviously a different place uh, than, it I, than I am now. Um, and, but I think I really, like, more lyrically now, I, I, kind of, I kind of look at, you know, what are, what are things that are going on, not only in my life, but what are, you know, what, what's a, what, I try to write lyrical content that people can grab a hold of, um, you know, and whether or not they, <clears throat> you know, whether or not to, it's, it's what, you know, they may, they may interpret it in a different way, which is fine with me. I think, I think that's one of the best things that if you can write a song that had, that people can interpret in, in their own way, that's awesome. Um, but I definitely, I mean, you know, you, you'll hear it in the lyrics. I mean, it's what I'm writing about is, is what we're going through right now. I mean, I think that, you know, um, uh, you know, digital soapbox. I mean, it, it's, it can't get any more relevant than it is for, you know, today's yeah. day and age. I think you're going to find that with, with yeah. all the songs that come out, you're going to find that there's, you know, there's relatable to it. Right? Yeah. Relatable. Yeah. Like people yep. are going to relate to these songs. Yeah. And plus they, and plus they, they kind of rock a little bit too. <laughs> just say. You rock. Yeah. Let's read some of these comments. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so Dale, Dale Newland says, that's a great way to describe the difference. Uh, Ashley's making fun of you guys for being babies. Uh, Matthew Fallon says, hi, Angela. Hi, Angela. Uh, uh, K, K Tyler says, or some cowbell. Uh, <laughs> more cowbell. Always. She also, always more cowbell. K says, you guys need some bagpipes yes 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 we're not corn <laughs> we're not corn <laughs> anyways guys um so uh, what what has the um i want to ask you guys out in the comments who are watching this um what what uh, how would you how do you how are you guys liking the music that's the question how are you guys liking the music just leave a comment let us know yeah um yeah yeah, yeah. And so go ahead <laughs> Oh, no, no. Uh, let's give Yale a question there. Somebody ask Yale a question. How Some are you? Comments at... <laughs> <laughs> I, I know he... Yeah, remember that uh, that group NXS, how they had the video where they had the signs? You know, and he's yeah. like, that's yeah. going to be Yale. He's going to have the signs. I got it. I, I... So, Yale, did you... Did Yale... Yale, you're, you're pretty young. You um, you Did you listen to Papa Roach at all uh, coming up, you know, when you were... Uh, Younger? Yeah.
And is that the kind of music that you listen to? The better question is how old You're aging you these guys, Malcolm guys, man. <laughs> yeah, how old were you when you heard, first heard of Malcontent, yeah? 31. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that the kind of music that you grew up listening to? Like Papa Roach and Malcontent and, you know, Gooser and all of them? Menudo. Hey. <laughs> Megadeth, right? Man, you know, we should have we should have told Dave that uh, when we actually me, Heath, and Yeo actually started jamming together, we started out as a cover band, and one of the songs that we actually covered was "Between Angels and Insects." Yeah. <laughs> Love that song. And I, I actually played the bass on it, and Yeo and Frankie played guitar on that song. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, people are saying they can't hear Yayo. That's so weird. Some somebody somebody says they can't see see them. That's weird. Well, I can see. He's got to talk louder. I can yeah. see him fine. He's you know. got to talk loud. Yeah, maybe you got to talk louder. I can hear fine. But yeah, so um, need to get like a microphone. <laughs> Pro, pro, pro style. So, um, let's ask a fun question. Yeah. What, what are you guys listening to um, besides the songs that you guys have been um, writing? The new Deftones album. I've been listening to that a lot today, or since it's come out. Yeah. Yep. The same. <laughs> yeah, the actually, same. in a <laughs> Black Stallion, they're they're. Uh, um the the oh the remix of the white pony yeah the remix of white pony is it's phenomenal there's some really really good remixes on there and then i i, I still i can't i can't get off the the new tool album or newish two oh. album, <laughs> album i freaking love danny carey that guy can play we call maddie maddie carey <laughs> that, no, no, no. Come on, myself. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, Yayo, um, jump out and jump back in. Yeah, let's see if that <coughs> fixes the issue, guys. It's, sometimes with these live streams, you get these little technical issues and stuff, and you know, sometimes we have to log back in and log in and log back on. So, we're gonna, we're gonna. Uh, Give Yayo a second to um, to log back in. So, um, so how are you guys feeling? Uh, you guys have been uh, oh us three, the yeah. COVID crew right here. <laughs> oh yeah, what's up? <laughs> yeah, the COVID homies. I'm immune. Oh now. yeah, I'm. <laughs> I feel great. What's up? I, I'm. I actually back. So go I ahead, actually, Andy. I actually feel pretty, pretty good. Uh, I'm almost symptom free. I got, I got a couple little issues still, but there was a car that just drew, drove through my house. <laughs> no, <laughs> that was but, for me. I'm outside. Okay, <laughs> tell them to like slow that. down. Or, uh, to, yeah. Damn, yeah, it's a residential <laughs> neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, I'm still, I still got some. The cough and, and some other crap going on. So hopefully, hopefully I'm at the tail end of it. Well, that's good. The worst, well, man, the, the worst I had, man, I'll say this again. Six days with no taste or smell. That shit sucked. I couldn't it, eat shit. Oh, that, but yeah. that's when you do the spicy, the one chip spicy chip challenge, though. <laughs> there you go. And you record it and say, I, I'm successful. Because <laughs> I mean, you don't even feel it. Yeah. I tried to spice up everything, man. I couldn't feel nothing. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, yeah. The the one the one symptom that I still got that's kind of weird is my uh the only way I can describe it is um my skin feels numb when I scratch it, like it's like weird to the touch. It's uh, interesting. That's weird to say the least. Man, yeah. that is weird. <laughs> it, it it's it's really weird. Yeah, I think. Yeah. God damn, I don't it's traffic central. I think yeah. I don't wish that crap on anybody. Yeah. What? I think Yayo left. He got lost. He's gone. He, he, got, got, lost. he got lost. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah he got lost. Well, um, we're going on an hour now. Um, oh, wow. 
just want to ask you guys um, some some closing thoughts here. What what is the message? What are your closing thoughts uh, to wrap up this live stream? Okay. Well, I appreciate every, everybody that's downloaded or streamed the new single, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. We got more coming up in February, February 5th, like Heath said earlier. And I just want everyone to be safe and uh, uh, take care of your body and all that stuff because uh, the shit's real and it sucked. So everybody be safe and glad you enjoyed the new single and uh, keep rocking. That's all I got to say. Cool. Cool. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> I think I just want – yeah, I mean, obviously, please share, you know, share the uh, – this video, any, you know, all the, any social media posts, you know, give us a share and, and, uh, we appreciate you guys. We're, we're definitely, um, you know, thankful to have you guys, uh, you know, listening for all these years. And, uh, like I said, I hope we're, you know, hopefully the music we write, you guys are digging, um, you know, and we'll, we'll just keep doing it. We'll just keep writing. And then, uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get some shows going. Uh, yeah. this year sometime but we're gonna, yeah. until then yeah. we're just gonna keep writing we're just gonna keep writing, writing <laughs> we're just gonna... studio and, we'll see uh, you at cheers in four months <laughs> <that's right. laughs> and uh and dave I, I know he's already off the line but we appreciate dave coming on and just yeah, yeah, yeah that, was, time. that sure. was pretty cool that was cool for him to yeah have that was really on. cool that was really cool of him yeah anthony any closing thoughts yeah, uh, just want to say we appreciate you guys uh, kind of piggybacking on what Heath and Maddie said, but uh, we appreciate you guys. We miss playing, you know, can't, w I can't wait to play a show. Like yeah, we miss everybody too. As, like as Maddie and Heath. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> like I'm the one that's always wanting to play shows. So like for me, this is, this has been hard because they've had to reel me back, you know, and, but it's, it's been for the greater good of us. Mm -hmm. And, uh, we can't wait to see you guys. We can't wait to start performing again. And uh, all we have right now is just doing this. And, uh, yeah, we love you guys. And okay. hope to see you soon, for sure. And, uh, uh, Anthony, do you have any shout-outs? I want to shout-out this right here, Digital Dynamite. They're a production company that I work for. Um, <laughs> hopefully, after this stuff opens back up, they can get their company back on. Uh, they do great lighting and sound. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I want to – and. Shout out Alice and Marge Bug or Alice if she's listening and Marge, we love you guys. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and shout out everybody else out there. <laughs> uh, shout out. Sorry, Matt, Maddie. Any any shout outs? Uh, just shout out to you know everybody's listening and you know all all my good buddies out there. I miss you guys. You know, mm -hmm. and just uh, chat to people to yeah, like I said, people that downloaded streamed our song. I uh, really appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, shout out to you, Carlos, for doing all this well, stuff for us. So, That's you brother, cool. sure. uh, yeah, all that shit. So, and Heath, any shout outs? Yeah, just uh, obviously to Joe Johnson again up at Puss Cavern. Is yeah, that too. Uh, just an amazing bad. engineer. I love working with him. Uh, going up there, it just feels like home. So it's awesome. And then also Eric Broyhill, uh, who's been handling the mastering on the album or on the singles. Um, uh, just shout out to him. They've they've just turned out great. Uh, the funny thing is we've never mastered a song, uh, you know, so for, for us to send, uh, to, to have these sent off and actually, you know, go through that whole process, it's been amazing. And it's, it's crazy the, the difference that it makes. So shout out to him as well. And, and oh, Alan. Can I what, can I, hey, and Alan. And Alan, we here. miss you, Alan. Alan, we yep. miss you. Get yeah. a new phone. Get a new phone, yeah. Alan. <laughs> but one more shout out. Alan. One, more, one more shout out. Mm -hmm. Hey, one more shout out. A shout out to Ashley. Because without her, we wouldn't be back together. together. Back That's together. Right. So shout out to Ashley. And uh, you're a survivor, and we love you. And we fucking love you. That's so. right. For sure. Awesome. We do. And that is going to wrap it up for today's live stream, guys. Thank you very much to Dave Buckner and to the guys here. Uh, shout out to all of you guys for joining us today. Keep, support keep supporting the band. Keep sharing the content. Keep liking. Keep commenting. Um, the band loves you guys. We love you guys. Stay safe in these crazy-ass times, and we will see you next time. Peace. 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 Later.